Well, welcome. This is the Mayfly set. It's really wonderful to see it go from a tiny model to this life-size contraption. It's this wonderful spiral that um, Celia Perkins has designed. It took us a full day the first time we moved it, um, as Splinter Scenery warned us it would, but now we know how not to do it. <laughs> the jets are powered like a lighting system that you might have in a theatre, so we're using a DMX controller and a DMX box. There's been the choreography to make, but also then how that's in relation to the water jet and how to kind of go about the making process. To begin with, we, we set up improvisations just exploring the set and the interactions with the water. We've gathered like the best bits, the bits that kind of really create a nice image or something which is meaningful to the audience. And then we've gone back and programmed that then in sequence into the software. This object needs to speak for itself as well, so that was actually a really lovely process to go through. Mayfly is quite an unusual performance, obviously it involves water, um, which instantly gives you some slightly different challenges, because the set's got quite a lot of texture and a lot of different colours. That It was actually surprisingly hard to find something that looked right with it. It's a bit Elton John. That's a no that's good. Um, we had quite a lot of discussions, um, but we've gone for this sort of sort of gentle satin, which um, is quite um, a thin fabric actually, so I've had to back it with other fabrics inside to make sure that it's strong enough to withstand what it's going to be put through. 